Ray, thank you once again for the awesome hospitality. Anytime, guys. Anytime. You're Martin, awesome. have an awesome weekend. Out. You're not going anywhere because your Uber just drove away. So. <laughs> Boys, Bye-bye. see you next week. Be safe. Your Uber just drove Damn it. Do we just miss our Uber? Yeah, the Uber. No, the Uber came. Yeah. He was across the street. I waved at him. I came in to grab our stuff and he drove away. Cool. So, lesson le- yeah, sorry, so le- Welcome back. Lesson learned. Trip canceled. Look. What a dick. Like, all seriousness, Uber drivers here need to get a little LA hustle. Yeah, he, he must have been real busy they all need, day today. They need to learn a little LA hustle. Yeah, for sure. In LA, I've had Uber drivers without changing anything. I've said, hey, can I stop at oh, dude, they're uh, awesome uh, uh, a freaking drive through And they're like, yeah, sure. Eh. Rip through the drive through Don't change anything. Drop them a fat tip because they're cool. Didn't even call you? Huh? He didn't even call you. He didn't do anything. He canceled the trip and drove out. That's yeah, weak. With his hazards on, like he yeah. won a race. Yeah, hey? Like he has <laughs> so many other guys to grab right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah That's insane. I've never seen that before. All right. Let's try this again. And back we go. You know what I do appreciate? What? Having Uber in Vancouver. It's new. Was never here before. Wow. All that time we spent in LA, yeah. there was no Uber here. Oh, wow. Yeah. The little things we take advantage of. Goodbye to us. Look at this. That's ridiculous, man. Kai Wen's car. That artist I had no idea about. How's it going? What's up? Daily Driven Exotic. Dude, what's <laughs> up? I'm, hey, I'm through the glass. Through the glass. I'm, I'm your subscriber. Thank you, bro. Hey, no problem. Amazing. I need you to drive like he drives because we need to get on a plane. Do you mind driving us to YVR? We're going domestic. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Air Can- uh, WestJet. It's all the same. Okay. Yep. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. Show us what this thing's got, bro. <laughs> Show us what kind of yeah. engines it has. Full in this send. Bag. Just got out of security and look at this. It is eight o'clock, as you can see here, and we board at what time? 7.50. We probably need to get going. Is it this way? Yeah. Always on the run, Anthony. Yeah. Always on the run. Oh, I know. We might miss our flight today. We're going the wrong way. That one goes that way. I know. seeing this it means we we made it we did barely <laughs> oh here we go another day another mini flight this is actually kind of neat because it's a five and a half hour uh, five and a half hour drive probably longer in the snow but we can fly back to Kelowna. What, what is it, Anthony? Well, this last trip, it was 30, 36 minutes. 36 minutes. Normally, Th- it's like about 50. 36 minutes or six hours of absolute highway through hell. Sheer terror. And, and three days ago was a major accident and someone died. And there was a 26-car pileup. Over a kilometer of the road. Over, over a kilometer of the length of the road. It's just dangerous. Like... So dangerous. So we fly. All right, people ask me, what do we vlog on? I'm gonna give you the rundown right now. If you're a new vlogger uh, and you're just literally starting, use a newer iPhone. The camera uh, technology is impeccable. I chose these after going through many, many different types of cameras, GoPros, different action cams, and I landed on Sony and I'll tell you why. These are two different Sony bodies and there are two different lenses, but essentially there are a lot of similarities. Similarities. First of all, I like the Alpha Series Sony camera, the mirrorless DSLR, just simply because it has amazing low light uh, capabilities. And we filmed a lot of vlogs at night. These are Rode Mic Pro Plus uh, microphones. They turn on and off with the camera. So when you turn the camera off, this turns off and you're saving your battery. The previous model didn't do that you manually had to turn the camera on and then manually turn the mic on. If you forget to turn it off, like I forget doing lots of things, 
um, it will burn your battery out. And the cool thing about the Sony camera is you get to turn this off, it'll turn itself off, which will then in turn turn the mic off for you. Both these lenses are 16 to 35 uh, wide angle lenses. That enables us to get the lens really close to my face and essentially it'll look like I would be really, 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 really close to the camera like this. See this? Like how close I am? But look at, see the wide angle perspective of that? It's really handy. Now, this is a lot to lug around. I use this because I wanted more cinematic shots. I wanted really good audio. I wanted everything to always be in focus. Sony has amazing autofocus technology. And that's why I use these, but I understand I had to work up to this. This is a $5,500 setup. The body, the lens, the mic, um, this is even a little bit more. The A9 is a more expensive camera. The G Master is twice as expensive of a lens as this, but these mics are about $450. Again, I'm talking Canadian dollars, but long story short, you can get away with using your iPhone. You guys have seen this on this channel. Everything shot on an iPhone, that's it. No mics, no nothing. So. It's also very convenient for uploading. I have to take everything off of an SD card of these cameras and then put it on a computer and yada yada into software or upload it to Jamie. You can do everything off an iPhone. You can even get iMovie and edit right off of your phone in the beginning. That's how I started my channel. No fancy gear, just get to it. There's a pro tip for you. If you wanna start a YouTube channel, just start, pick a topic. I promise you, you will learn more along the way than you will contemplating and theorizing and trying to read forums and take other people's advice. Just start any topic. You can also change your topic at any time in the beginning because it takes time to build it up. So just learn the process. Good luck. Hope to see you somewhere on YouTube one day if that's your ambition. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't I don't, I don't know. Is this your new office? This is my new office. Can I have some chocolate? Yeah, have some popcorn. You have a popcorn machine? With, with seasoning. Come on. <laughs> What's your favorite? I gotta go with the dill pickle. Dill pickle is pretty good. I do like nacho, but I would have to go with all dressed. Classic. Pretty cool view here. You know what? The airport's right there, so I get to see planes land. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Well, congrats on the new space, dude. Thanks, man. And your own office. is pretty swank. I just put a shelf up. It's no big deal. No big deal. What are you going to put on it? Some car models? Chocolate. Treats. Holy shit, it's holding. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. Sell anything fun lately in the new, uh, have, um, you, have you sold a car period? I have actually, location? today I did a delivery, a uh, gentleman bought two cars. He bought an 07 Porsche mm. and a Nissan Rogue for his kids. Wow. Yeah. Nice very, dad. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Very cool. Any cool inventory downstairs that we should check out while we're here? Uh, pretty much all the inventory is pretty damn cool. I'll have to agree. You guys do have some pretty fucking cool. We inventory. have a race car that would match your sweater perfectly. Really? How do you feel about a Lucra? Ooh, I saw you guys uh, having a little fun with that thing inside the uh, inside the showroom before the oh, showroom got filled. Yeah, yeah. So it's a LS7 engine. Matt August has described it as violent, so you know it's fun. Yeah, if someone says it's violent, it's definitely fun. Especially Matt. He drives everything. Very cool. Well, let's go take a look. Yeah. Cheers, Enjoy. Dude. I'm here, and Anthony and I were just enjoying our my fifth donut, and um, <laughs> all of a sudden he starts talking, and Anthony's like, what? That's like. <laughs> what? He's not talking to us. He's got earpiece. He's got oh. earpiece now. I just have la lazy salespeople, that's all. Oh. Let's see. Look, let's look let's show the people we're, what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, yes. The sorry, Secret Service deal. Matt August, <laughs> Secret Service. <laughs> sorry, I'm just making fun of you guys. <clears throat> this you guys. Oh, hey, what's up? So we got, we're just here back with Matt August. Hey, Matt's Matt. been working up? super hard. How much fun has it been, Matt? <laughs> working on moving a dealership with a whole bunch of cars at multiple locations and having to put them all into one space while at the same time, completely finding a new location for service. And completely moving out of the old building. Yeah. And, and a, few, a few gray hairs in there. Oh yeah, Christ, there's more coming. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're all kind of, yeah, uh, welcome uh, to the, the club. stress, the stress. Welcome to the club. No, it's been crazy. Like yeah, it's, there was a time where we put a bunch of cars in here because we thought that would be a good idea. Yeah. And then all the construction guys were like, no. <laughs> so then I had to truck 20 of them out into a different warehouse. No. Then truck the whole entire store out, take all of our lifts out, 
put our lifts in here. This is so we'll wait for everything to do. God. Well, that's cool. I like this. This remind you of anything? Monopoly. Yes, that's hey? right. The Monopoly. In Monopoly, car. you it's can totally pick a car, Monopoly open wheeled car. Monopoly car like that. It's cool. Anyhow, Matt said I could come here and do some donuts. So you guys ready for this? Damon is going to do donuts at the brand new August Lever Motor Cars location. Donuts, 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 donuts. That's right. I'm going with the honey cooler oh donut. True mm. story. This is Damon's third donut. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he was practicing, guys. That's true. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Well, the end of an era that is no longer August Luxury Motor Cars building. They have a new place, and we are excited to share with you guys very, very soon here in Kelowna, just up the road. In fact, we just came from there. Look at Anthony's car, though. Mad Whip's got a Mad Whip, all right. This is a very, very cool manual four-liter Porsche. Look that thing. One day I need to get a Porsche. I definitely need to get a Porsche. Build some of the most reliable, most high performance vehicles on the planet. Anthony and I are going to get the ladies a little something for Valentine's Day. I was probably going to forget because we've been filming all day. And then Anthony was like, hey, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And I was like, oh, damn. I'm glad you reminded me. I got uh, you. I'm glad I'm good. I need to turn these off. They're on their own little circuit or else they'll kill my battery. I freaked you out, hey, with that? Yeah. You didn't know that? Twice. So when you rip in a Ferrari, and hammer the brakes. I preferably, I actually don't, I prefer that this wouldn't happen. I don't know why it does, but. It's like, hey, look at me, look at me. Yeah, Ferrari's Which built it in. makes sense if you're on a track or like yeah. in a rally, but like in a city. Yeah, I well, don't think you Ferrari's want to say. built it in that the hazards flash if you hammer the brakes. So that's what happened. So I came ripping down this road and hammered the brakes, and all of a sudden all your hazards start flashing, and Anthony thought it was the cops. Yeah. <laughs> This is my tangled mess of lights at the moment. All right. Let's go get the lady something nice. Yeah. Fingers crossed they still have flowers. It's kind of a priority. Oh, we could do, we do the cute little teddy bear. Oh, it's slim pickings. Slim pickings. I'm gonna go with the one rose. <laughs> well, there's save on. There's also all this other stuff over here. We're going to go hunting for some stuff. Yeah. Hunting for the ladies. Freaking crushed it, brother. Yes, we did. Look at this. This is, this is DD. Happy lives. That's right. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and Mrs. DD seriously kills it when it comes to supporting me and really everything we do so you guys can get the content you're getting. Whoa. The out is on the left. This is how it's done, guys. This is how it's done. I would not have a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, and all McLaren and all these cars if I didn't have my wife supporting uh, me, taking care of the kids when I'm gone, doing all this stuff. It would be absolute mayhem. So <laughs> these are here because, well, partially because of these. So, all right, Anthony. You guys, subscribe to this channel. This is the behind the scenes. This ain't an NADD vlog. Yeah. This is raw as it gets. Yes, it is. Us buying sappy stuff. By the way, I got chocolate covered strawberries in there and a card and everything. Killing it. Done. Boom. Booyah shaka. Is that how Dave says it? I think so. Wonder what, what do you think Dave's going to do? He was do? all pissed off in the Bentley because now that you're saying it, yeah. you're, you're, you're 
really nailing how to say it, I guess. And yeah. he's now like faltering when he says it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Dave's getting with his girlfriend? Oh, God knows. When you get her? What do you think? I don't know. Probably something with, something with big batteries. batteries. Oh! <laughs> well, that was close. Actually, no, that actually, no, that made contact. Let's see. It's okay. Hey guys, Dave here on the island in my townhouse. I want to give you guys a little behind the scenes of my personal life. This is my garage, and as you can tell, uh, it's not the biggest garage in the world, but I can fit two cars. The Bentley, barely. This is actually hilarious. When I bought the car, I literally signed all the paperwork, put down a massive deposit on the lease. And um, I remember Googling how long the car was, and it was like 18 feet, 4 inches. And I was like, ah, it'll fit. And then I had the drawings from the place when it was built. And the garage is like 19 feet, one inches, not including the door width. So I was like, I don't know if it's going to fit. So as you can see right here, I have about four or five inches there. And in the front. <laughs> so it's, it's not bad, but you really have to pay attention when you're backing in because there's obstacles. And uh, as you can see in the Gallardo, I actually hit the car seat because I have all this stuff. Here's my daughter's bikes and some car seats. This is really cool. This is actually a seat protector I ordered that actually matches the interior of the Bentley. This is on Amazon. Like, look how close that is. Pretty crazy. Anyways, for the men watching this right now, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and I'm historically awful at holidays, like Christmas, Easter, about all those things I'm just horrible at. It's not that I don't have feelings or care. I'm just disorganized or I like doing things when they're not expected more. I really enjoy that. That being said, this year for my girlfriend, I did, I did get ahead of the game and I have a gift and some flowers here in the front. And the reason why I drove this car today was it snowed. And as you can see, it's all melting right now. And this car is all wheel drive with snow tires. This car does have snow tires, but it is rear wheel drive. And honestly, this car is wrapped. This car isn't, so I was happier to take out the Lamborghini than the Bentley because I didn't want the Bentley to get damaged. That's a really weird thing to say, but that's literally how I feel. Um, I want to show you guys a few cool things in my place here because you've probably seen me film a few times in here for Instagram stories and Facebook stories, but um, there's a few things in my house that are pretty interesting that I thought maybe you guys would enjoy. The first one is these paintings I have. A friend of mine made these for me, and I picked my top three favorite movies. So Wolf of Wall Street, Band of Brothers, which is an HBO miniseries, and then The Gentleman. And then he made this cool art with this really neat resin on it that I really enjoy. I've always loved movies. In fact, before DDE, I had dreams of being a screenwriter. I've actually written screenplays, which maybe in a future uh, DDE story I'll share with you guys some of my screenplays because they're... They're interesting. I find them funny, but I have a very, very uh, strange sense of humor. Um, speaking of movies, I want to show you guys the studio I set up in my house. Back when COVID hit, and we basically were grounded, there was times where we couldn't travel anywhere. It was a stay-at-home order and so forth. So I thought of creative ways to make content for you guys from home. So I actually built a studio in my house, and I legit did everything as you're about to see right now. There's a green screen. No. This is a small office, like this is, I think eight by 10. It's not a lot of room in here, but I don't need an office. Like we don't, this is online based, so a laptop and a phone, I'm, I'm good to go. So I uh, went on Amazon and I ordered everything. The green screen with all these cool little rigging equipment. I have all these soft lighting here, which you'll see. Gives it a nice ambient, warm lighting. You can see my face and I probably look better. The cool one is actually this one right here. This one, oops, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. as you can see, is like a ring light for Instagram models. Now, I'm not an Instagram model. I should be, but I'm not. Maybe if things don't work out of DD, I can start modeling. Mm -hmm. And then these black things here, these are actually um, soundproofing. They absorb some of the uh, reverberations in the room here. And because I rent my place, which I'll get to in a minute, um, I couldn't, like, obviously permanently attach these. So I bought these white uh, curated plastic boards. And I have one nail in each corner holding them on. So I've got one there, two there, and one there. It works okay. This room's actually probably too small for this, so there's a bit of echo. But anyways, uh, I did a Rage Out Living's video in here, which I'll probably do more of those. And then also just doing things like um, news and current events. We have lots of plans for more stuff for DDE, and that's just one of the steps to getting there. Um, 
What else is interesting about my place? Yeah, mostly just me. See you guys later. What's kind of cool about this townhouse is it's actually massive. It's like five bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's all open right here, so you can start down below. But my kids basically own the upstairs. I never come up here. There's really nothing up here for me. I, I have two bedrooms over here. I have a playroom here and a spare bedroom. And the only person that's ever stayed here one time is Damon. And now storage. There's a playroom. But check this out. I have one more piece of artwork I'll show you guys before I let you go. I think it's super cool. I put my daughter Kim in his room. Right there, that's, that's me. So this guy right here, Tune 53 Productions made this for me and I printed it and put it in a frame obviously. And um, it's me as a caricature with the Squadra Corsa and my McLaren that I miss oh so much. What's cool is you recognize this art style. This gentleman here does all the music videos for Marshmallow, which is super cool, I'm a big fan of his work and um, yeah, he made this room, which is awesome. I put my daughter's room. Speaking of that car, I really, really miss the McLaren. Like, games aside, as far as like, you know, the brightest, newest car for the channel and attention seeking, just the driving experience. I do love Lamborghini styling. I love Lamborghini noises, but from a driving experience, I really love that McLaren. It handled really good. It takes a bad driver like me. It almost makes you look like you know what you're doing because all the assist and brake steer and F1 technology. So when I go on the track, I actually feel some confidence in that. So definitely down the road, another McLaren will be in my future, hopefully. I have one piece of mem memorabilia, pardon me, from the McLaren. That's right here, which I said. That's a spoiler from the McLaren because we replaced it with a carbon fiber one that Ray hooked me up with at SR. So I have that as a little bit of like a, <sighs> the one that got away. Speaking of one that got away, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Don't screw it up, you guys. I've done that many, many times.